Uh, this is to help folks that are doing an air conditioner compressor swap on a second gen Honda CRV. Um, these AC compressors are kind of known to fail uh, fairly routinely. And so uh, I probably worked twice as long as I needed to to uh, get mine uh, pulled out. So I thought it would help. Um, for mine, I wasn't going to fix it all the way. I just put in a bypass pulley. So the car doesn't have AC now, but everything will run. So here is how you get your air conditioning compressor out. Uh, That's what the compressor looks like once it's out. This is what we got. So you want to take off your top plastic cover, your uh, front emblem assembly, and you'll see all this stuff. Where you're trying to get is all the way down there underneath where that uh, alternator is. So what you need to do is you need to get this top bar out and you need to get this fan assembly out. So to get the top bar out, you got a bolt here, bolt here for this bracket, bolt behind there, bolt for this radiator bracket. Come all the way across. Uh, mine's sheared off so I got screws in there, but it's gonna be another bolt for the radiator bracket. And then this bracket here, that bolt, that bolt there, and then one behind, uh, right underneath, uh, right, right underneath there, there. So you got three bolts there, three bolts there, and one each for the bracket. Then you can see here there's this bar right there. That bar goes straight down the bottom. You got to go underneath the cart, right up here in the middle. Right in the center, if that bar comes through, there's a bolt right there. Once you get all of that loose, you don't have to take these completely out. Just take them undo from there. Then this thing will lift up and move to the side. With that out, you got one bolt here for the coolant reservoir. And then you've got a bolt here and a bolt here for the fan assembly and the fan assembly plug. Don't forget to unplug him. Then, with that lifted out, you have all kinds of space to get underneath there. And really, you should be able to take that out, I mean, 15, 20 minutes max. It comes out pretty quick once you realize how it goes together, which I did not, which is why it took me way longer. Now, that then will let you easily get to the, the hose connections on top of the compressor and the two mounting bolts on top of the compressor. The other side is you got to get to the two bottom mounting bolts of the compressor. So to do that, you go underneath, and it's gonna be right up inside here. Now you see my two lower mounting bolts, this is my bypass pulley uh, uh, bracket. So you would see those two. Now, you may not be able, depending on what you use for sockets and stuff, you may not be able to get to those and loosen them with this main subframe in the way. So what you can do is there's a bolt on each four corners of the subframe, one there, one on the other side, right over there, and two just behind the wheels where this is. Loosen those, don't take them clear out. Just loosen them and this thing will fall down, you know, a quarter, half inch or so, and it'll give you the clearance you need to sneak in there and undo those. So once you get that, <clears throat> then the, uh, the pulley, or sorry, the compressor, will just lift right up, right up out the top. Really, it's not too bad. Uh, obviously, you got to take your serpentine belt loose, and to do that, the uh, the tensioner pulley is right right behind here for the power steering pump. So that's not bad. If you want some room in there when you're doing that, you can just this is your power steering fluid reservoir. You can pop that off and just shove it off to the side. You don't have to take it clear loose. Just it just lifts right off its butt bracket. You can get you some room. So if you know that the job really isn't that bad. Uh, you can do it. Um, just get this main thing is get this out, get the reservoir out and get that fan assembly out and then, uh, loosen the subframe underneath and she'll come.